Hello everyone, welcome back. I wanted to do something a little bit more spring oriented in light of the sunshine that we are getting here in Indiana. Um, winters can drag on forever. They seem so cold and so dreary. So I wanted to do something to brighten up my makeup look a little bit. I did pale greens with actually a white in the waterline and a very nude lip. I think it's a great combination for spring or really any time of the year. If you wanna see how to get this look, then please stay tuned. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and please subscribe, thanks. Before we get started, I do have my eyes prepped and primed using the NYX eyeshadow base in Skin Tone. As always, there's no, no changing it up there. I'm going in with two Coastal Scents shadows. The first is Chamois Nude and the second is Oatmeal Tan. I'm mixing them together on a fluffy blending brush and working that into the crease. Then I'm picking up a slightly more dense brush and just the darker color Oatmeal Tan and placing that just below the first two colors we laid down and also on the outer portion of the eye. Then I'm going in with a Coastal Scent shadow called Frost. P. It's a pale shimmery green. Picking that up on a damp flat shader brush, I'm dampening mine using MAC Fix Plus and pressing that into the inner third of the eye. This is going to foil your shadow a little bit and make it a little more vibrant. Then I'm going in with another Coastal Scent shadow. This is an S01. It's a slightly darker, more vibrant green and I'm pressing that into the middle portion of the eye just above where the color part of your eye is. Then, once I have that pressed on, I'm going in with a BH Cosmetics shadow. This is BHWS18. It's kind of a dark charcoal gray. Picking that up on a flat, dense brush and just pressing that into the inner outer V of the eye. Then I'm going back in with those first two colors, Oatmeal Tan and Chamois Nude, on a fluffy blending brush and just working that into the crease again to just give you a really flawless blend. Once you have that color laid down, I'm going in with another BH Cosmetics shadow. This is in BHMS04. It's kind of a dark green and I'm pressing that into where the gray meets the light green to mesh those colors in together really nicely. If I could go back and redo this look, I would probably use a green base just to make it pull a little better. Then I'm going in with a Coastal Scent shadow in Dark Chocolate and I'm just going to work that into the outer V. I decided I wanted this look to be a little deeper. After I have that on, I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild Mega Liner in black and do an intense winged liner but I'm not bringing it all the way into the eye I'm just focusing it on the outer portion to prime my face today I'm using the sugar finish primer which I got from Kohl's for five dollars and massaging that into the skin then I'm gonna go in with foundation using the Mac pro Longwear nourishing waterproof foundation in NC 30 using my Sigma 3d HD kabuki brush and working that into the skin also if you see a discoloration on one of my knuckles it looks like I got doo-doo all over my hands it is spray tan never fear it is spray tan and it will come off but it does look like I got poop all over my hands after I've got my foundation pressed into the skin and worked in, I'm going to go in with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in shade Vanilla, um, put, focusing that in an outer, not a V, in, an, in a triangle shape under my eye, and I'm using a damp beauty blender, which I dampened mine with Fix Plus again, and just patting that under the eye area to make sure it absorbs any extra product. This concealer does brighten up the eye area, that is for darn sure. Once I have that on, I'm going in with my Pure Minerals Mascara. This is just in black, and putting that on the top lashes. After that's on, I'm going in with my Lorac Pro Contour Kit, mixing two shades together, which I always do, the beige and vanilla. You can tell this palette has definitely seen better days. For powder today, I'm going in with the Maybelline Dream Wonder Powder in Sandy Beige on a flat buffer brush and pressing that into the skin. After all that is on, we're going to go in and contour. I am using the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in shade 340 on an angled brush by Coastal Scents. And you know I love a bronze forehead, so I'm going to make my forehead bronze. And I'm going in and patting it on the cheekbones to give some definition. To really carve out my cheekbones, I'm going to bake my contour using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder on the brush that came in the Lorac Pro Contour Kit and just giving myself a nice powder beard underneath that contour. Then while that sits on, I'm going to go in and do my waterline. I'm using a white automatic eyeliner from Ulta. This is just in a white shade, putting that on my waterline. Then I'm going back in with that Coastal Sense shade Dark Chocolate on a... Um, flat shader brush and just pushing that into the lower lash line and finishing off with some mascara. I did forget to mention um, that first color I put in my tear duct area is that frosted pea color from earlier. 
after all that is on the eyes are complete and we can go in and wipe away that contour don't you wish you could just go in like with the rest of your life and just wipe it away and it'd be perfect for blush today I'm using two tart blushes I'm mixing together they are smashing and beaming on a fluffy brush by BH cosmetics and pressing that onto the apples of my cheeks then for highlight I'm going in with a Kryolan glamour glow palette and mixing two colors together they are blush peach and pale tan absolutely gorgeous colors I'm putting that on the tops of my cheekbones and also on the very tip of my nose for lips today I didn't really know what I wanted to do so I decided I was going to do a very pale nude I'm going in with a Revlon color stay lip liner in the shade blush and then topping it off with a Mac lipstick and that is in patisserie I hope you enjoyed the look if you have any questions don't hesitate to drop them in the comments below but that completes the look thanks so much for watching see you later bye